Airlines. We'll take it. Go ahead. JD, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm JD Lassica. I'm the founder of socialmedia.biz and a new site called socialbright.org. And I'm the organizer of this year's Traveling Geeks to London. Fantastic. So tell us about the events around the corner. We're having a tweet up tonight. Um, but we're here for an entire week. We're meeting with uh, technology innovators in London and Cambridge over seven, eight days to talk about uh, what's happening on the ground. Uh, we're meeting with entrepreneurs, with uh, startup CEOs, with uh, larger companies like Microsoft and Nokia and BT to sort of find out. Um, you know, we keep hearing about this bubbling uh, ferment of creativity in uh, the UK. So we came out from Silicon Valley in New York, uh, where we're, we're all involved with the tech scene, all 12 of us, and wants to find out for ourselves. And where could we read up a little bit on uh, some of your learnings and findings this week? Um, there's a site called TravelingGeeks.com, and uh, we actually finally figure out WordPress enough so that everything that we're blogging on our own blog is going to automatically go up magically uh, to, to this combination of sites. So we're, we're using a lot of different social media tools from Twitter to Flickr uh, to all of our different blog posts. Um, and, you know, maybe there's going to be a new uh, network uh, invented tomorrow that we're going to use too. So, so we're, we're game for anything. Great. And um, what, what, what are some of the companies you've met with tonight? Um, well, we just got here a little while ago, so we're still trying to figure out who are, who are all these people. But a lot of local business people and um, entrepreneurs, consultants, um, all the sort of people on the, the social tech scene here, there seems to be quite a few of them who, who get together for these kinds of events and introduce themselves. And um, they come on over to Silicon Valley, and we sort of try to do the same for them. What about open source? Is that a topic you've jumped on this evening, or, or is it not that interesting? I think it's becoming more and more important. Um, so I'm one of the things I did uh, four years ago was found uh, a startup called OurMedia.org, and we were the first video hosting and sharing site. We did um, we created this open source platform on Drupal. Um, we gave back to the Drupal community. We uh, archived everybody's contributions at the Internet Archive. Uh, to try to encourage everybody to release their content under Creative Commons licenses. So I think, you know, finally the mainstream tech community is sort of coming around to this point of view of uh, openness is better. Even even closed proprietary networks like Facebook are beginning to open up a little. And, you know, the fact that Twitter, for example, has opened their APIs, you know, I don't want to get too techy here, but the fact that, you know, these application programming interfaces are now available for any programmer in the world to build on is really what I think sort of kick-started that uh, into becoming a, a worldwide phenomenon so that, you know, you can't read anything about what's happening in the news today or what's happening in Iran without uh, taking into account Twitter and other kind of open source tools. So do you think that Symbian going open source is a good thing then? I think it's fantastic and um, I wish Symbian all the luck because I think not only is it good for the community, but I think it makes good business sense, too, because you don't have to do all the... One of the things I always tell all the people I work with is, don't do all the heavy lifting. lifting. Don't... I'll, I'll say that again. One of the things I tell people in my community is, don't do all the heavy lifting. Help, let your community help you build your application, create new features, functionalities, and ultimately everybody's going to benefit from that. Absolutely. And one last question, JD. What do you think of the Symbian Duck? Um, can't get enough of the duck. So, <laughs> so yeah, the more feathery creatures, the better. Uh, Thanks very much, Sadie. Okay, good luck to you. Thank you.